So I've made several videos now explaining how collagen supplements are heavily processed agrochemical laced products extracted from boiled down feedlot beef waste. However, the continued market presence of companies like Vital Proteins shows that money is the top priority of these sickos in charge, regardless of how many people they make sick, let alone their product not working, being useless. If I see one more shelf of this crap at Whole Foods right by the checkout, 40, 50, 60 dollars for a container of white powder crap that doesn't work, I mean, it drives me, it drives me absolutely crazy how evil this world is. And I saw this very high up on Reddit the other day. You know, commenters weren't so happy about it. So not only does Vital Proteins have a disclaimer when you open up the product, read this. By opening and using this product, you agree to be bound by our terms and conditions fully set forth at vitalproteins.com slash TC, which includes a mandatory arbitration agreement. If you do not agree to be bound, please return this product immediately. They were actually sued several years ago for lead and cadmium poisonings from several of their products, so maybe they don't want to uh, give up any more money in hefty payouts after poisoning people. Superior Court of the State of California, County of Alameda, case number RG1890524, Environmental Research Center versus Vital Proteins LLC. Defendant Vital Proteins LLC is a business that develops, manufactures, markets, distributes, and or sells nutritional health products that have exposed users to lead and or cadmium in the state of California within the relevant statute of limitations period. So you guys can read through that court case. I'm sure lead and cadmium weren't the only dangerous things in their supplement, but heavy metals are certain to cause immediate toxicity. And those other negative things that I bring up so frequently the laboratory tests and proving them are very, very difficult to do. It also doesn't help that Nestle has a major stake in vital proteins. Nestle being known for using slave labor, killing infants with their baby formula schemes, eh, not the best look. So the main thing on that terms and conditions page is that they want you to agree to arbitration when purchasing their product. Normally requiring a signature and consent, this really shouldn't hold up in court, that is if the courts were fair. However, big companies usually have judges in their pockets, leaving little hope for the average person. So if you try to sue them, even though you didn't sign anything, they, this, this might hold up, who knows? And the reason for this is that arbitration is very, very expensive. The average consumer does not have 30 to $40,000 just to start the case let alone legal and lawyer fees. Back to the product, 100% grass-fed cattle do not have high levels of heavy metals in their diets. The only way this type of contamination would be consistent across these beef-based products is if said animals are from conventional farms. Vital Proteins is able to label their products grass-fed and pasture-raised, but when corn counts as grass from a legal standpoint, and they just need access to pasture, not actually be on pasture, it's likely the same garbage beef that has been poisoning Americans for years. Now, I'd be a lot more comfortable if there was a, a USDA organic logo on here, or if it was from a different country, but no. And to my understanding, there are two main sources of heavy metals in the feed, seaweed and fish meal from the ocean, or crops grown with manure from feedlot animals, aka the corn and soy that most feedlot cattle eat. This pollution in the oceans from certain types of factories ends up in feedlot beef, pork, and chicken, which in turn could end up in a supplement made from those animals. It would make sense. Now, if you're wondering how they turn conventional animal waste into a white powder, it's an extensive refining and chemical process that I went to in depth on those previous videos I made on collagen. Point is, they're taking skin, bones, hooves, slaughterhouse waste that they can sell from likely very sick animals that are high in heavy metals, antibiotics, agrochemicals, boiling it down, and then processing it with chemicals to bleach it, and then selling you a health product. The people doing this are criminals. This should be 100% illegal, especially when you can just have high quality broth made from actually healthy grass-fed animals. 
But these crooks have found out a way to deceive the masses with marketing and laboratory processes in health supplements like this. And the real issue with this is you have these giant conglomerates, huge companies that are processing tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of beef per day, and they can make this stuff on a very large and unrealistic scale in these laboratories. This isn't something that like a local farm or people raising animals naturally would ever be able to come up with because they'd be using most of the parts of the animal for health products. It's just insane. There would be no need to make a product this refined if you had a high quality collagen broth like what we have on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. And I've been incorporating this into my diet. It's an excellent source of high quality, healthy amino acids. And I'm not worried about poisoning myself. You should feel good when you have something. You wanna buy this BS? They have $2 containers you can try to poison yourself with or $30 containers you can poison yourself with. And I'm not talking about vital proteins, collagen specifically. I'm talking about any single collagen supplement out there for the most part. Even if it is grass-fed, even if it's not full of heavy metals, it's still highly, highly processed, bleached, deodorized with chemicals. You want broth. And the one we make on Frankie's Range Meat, it's, it's a very long, low, slow process to extract all the amino acids, all the nutrients, and it's very expensive to make if done properly. Try out both, see how you guys feel, but uh, it's, it's crazy. This collagen stuff is, is getting really crazy to me. And I didn't even talk about all these other products they got, freaking collagen water, collagen bars. They're putting collagen in everything because they can't sell this stuff. People don't want it. It's ridiculous. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, as always, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, check out frank guys, where you'll see Frankie's Syringe Meat, as well as all of my other businesses. See you guys for the next video.